Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for March 30th, 2021. So today we have turquoise, prioritize your health and black tourmaline, protect your energy. Something is getting to us, <laughs> right? And you know, black tourmaline is very grounding. It's, you know, a stone that you can use to help detoxify your energy, to take away negativity. And some do take turquoise to represent Archangel Sandalfin, who's also very grounded in charge of the Earth Star Chakra. I personally don't associate turquoise with Archangel Sandalfin, to each his own. <laughs> but I, I associate turquoise with flow, peace, communication, speaking from the heart. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of a blue-green color, so it's a combination of the heart and the throat. And this is saying that something is getting to you. The, yes, the toxicity is really working its, and I'm air quoting here, you can't see me, <laughs> its magic on us. It's what's holding us up. It's that toxic thought grid, right? I believe I was talking yesterday about how people constantly want us to look at um, a situation and kind of go more with the, the mainstream way of dealing with it which is to back off and let everybody just do whatever the heck they want to do, <laughs> right? And that's pretty convenient, isn't it? Because then there are no people calling things out. Nothing ever changes. We remain stuck. You know, that's, if you want to see it as an agenda, think about that. Why do we get shamed through a credit score? Why do we get shamed when we speak up at work? Why do we get shamed when we're in a love partnership and we say, hey, that doesn't work for me? And someone says, oh, you're such a problem, right? So this is saying you need to look at what are the toxic messages that are still pulsing through you. And they're showing me on a cellular level what energy is still pumping through you. Now, these might be messages that you got from childhood. It might be current messaging. What messages, and <laughs> this is coming up, what messages do you get around love? How many times have you, if you're single, how many times have you been single shamed? Like to the point where people think they're above you because they're in a partnership. You know, that sort of thing. So this is asking you to look at where the toxicity exists. What is, how, here you go. How has the thought grid infected you? And how can you break out of that? What can you do to be truthful? You got to be truthful to yourself before you can be truthful to others. Yes. All right. So the cabochons hiding. See? Yeah. Oh, Zadkiel. He's been showing up all over the place. And Raphael. A lot of healing here. And the heart. Raphael is all about the heart chakra. And if you know what's in your heart and you're fearless, you know, this says protect your energy, but it's protecting your energy by ridding yourself of that conditioning. And what's left is your heart light, okay? <laughs> I know, that sounds a little cliche, but heart light, yes? There's a lot to be healed here. Archangel Raphael, there's no mistake that he landed right in that top position there. And he's holding steady right there. So let this be your priority today. So if we're talking about a focus, what's in your heart, what pain, what wisdom, what realization, what healing can you do around that? How can you transmute those lower frequencies into higher frequencies? That's Archangel Zadkiel. And you're going to find that this is the time that you come out of hiding. Oh, yes. We've all been hiding. Especially if you're sensitive. Why? Because if you come out and you're an empath, you see things that other people don't see. You feel things that other people don't feel. And be careful you might, for example, look at an executive and say, there's no way that person can be an empath. But really, they are. <laughs> Empaths are positioned everywhere and in every kind of practice or profession. And conversely, you have dark energies that go into the spiritual community. And from their broken wiring space, they try to control everybody else. So this is really teaching us not to take things at surface level to look beyond. And that means with us too. We need to get out of this judgment phase. 
I know that's hard, especially again, if you're an empath, <laughs> because you've uh, kind of learned how to guard and protect your energy by keeping watch. But this can lead us into paranoia. This can lead us into heartbreak, especially when someone harms us and we just don't understand why. Why is that such a weird thing for us? Because we see where those people are going wrong. We know we would never do that to another human being. And yet, there's somebody else who doesn't get that. Now, does that make them beneath an empath? No. But that's where our sensitivity starts sort of getting in distortion. And we have to be accepting of that. This little baby right here, I'll push that on up. <laughs> hiding, it's time for all of us to come out of hiding. Now, does that mean come out and act the fool? No. <laughs> I'm an empath, I know everything, right? <laughs> you know you don't, right? <laughs> but you could come on out and start speaking your truth from a very grounded place. So this is kind of the upper chakras and the lower chakras. It needs to be balanced. No ego here. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.